back my sweet darlings it's me Nessa and this is my makeup nook and that is exactly what it is a makeup nook that sits at the end of my hallway so you're gonna hear my king my little prince and my little princess as they run about the kingdom because it is a makeup nook can't soundproof it all right I got a couple of choices in about every category just so I could work through them so I got them all sitting here on my little vanity in my little basket <laughs> so the first step I do that's not in the basket is on my vanity and that is my moisturizer and my under eye and my lip okay I always do this first thing in the morning when I sit down on my vanity this way I know it gets done so we're going to jump in with the glam glow moisturizing omega rich I got in boxycharm I'll list the price up here at the top of the screen looks like this it's green you're gonna rub it together really really good and throw it on my face all right you always got to prep your face for your moisturizer before your makeup the second one I do is the pharmacy and this is for your under eyes this is the cheer up we also got this in boxycharm as well I have a bunch of eye cream that I got I was a boxycharm member for a year and a half almost two years and I got lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of products so get this smeared in my eyes and the next step that I do is I exfoliate with my brown sugar lip exfoliator from elf price will be listed across the screen this is my own money when you see the little face the little emoji with the tongue sticking out the dollar sign that means it's my own money <laughs> use the professional the blue one the poor pro poor primer I would like to cross the nose and down over my cheeks just to get rid of my very very big pores make sure I get my into my nose I have this pore that likes to hang out there and just wave at people <laughs> and just ah! okay and then we're gonna do our hydrating serum from elf I'm just about out of this so we might run out of this before the end of the month if that marinate for a minute I'm gonna grab my handy dandy little fan from my wall of wonders and I'm going to just fan me down for a little bit all right and then we're going to put on the wonder beauty glow ahead illuminating oil it looks like this I got this from boxycharm as well I'm just gonna not use a lot of it because it doesn't take a lot I don't think <laughs> been quite a bit since I've used this one and this basically just gives you a glowy look under your foundation now right or wrong I have been setting down my oops, setting down my primer with my lavender powder from Fenty Beauty it, it makes my foundation feel like it's staying better if that makes sense I got this tip from one of the um, beauty gurus on Facebook caters to the over 40 bunch which by the way I'm 40 plus so I'm just gonna lightly like very 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 little of it just to set down my primer and my oil just to give a really good foundation for my a really good base for my foundation to stick to I'm going to grab my foundation brush this is my it cosmetics this is when I'm too lazy and I don't want to get up and go to my bathroom which is like 10 steps away and wet my sponge this is my it cosmetics heavenly luxe bye bye foundation number 22 brush and this is the dewy smooth fit me dewy smooth in the shade fair porcelain I'm gonna use it it's got SPF in it so I just gonna tap a little bit on my brush just like that and we're gonna pounce it on my face Ooh. Pull back the wings all right there we go I'm gonna just kind of stipple this on here okay I'm gonna stay away from my eyes because I am going to highlight my eyes I always 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 highlight under my eyes I like to brighten my eyes up I just decided that I was gonna do a shop my stash because I thought it would be a good way to refresh my memory on what I got first step second step definitely use my product more and that way 
I get through it. <laughs> Let's hope. So that was the Fit Me. This is my e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in the shade, I believe this one is Fair Beige. It's not a very high, it's not very highlighting. My um, highlighted one would be my Fair Rose. This one's just going to kind of conceal my eyes. I tap a dot there, I tap a dot there, and then I do a little bit. And then we'll do here, just because we can, up the nose. Over here, do I do this every time? No, we'll just do it with you. Tap it here and here and a couple of lines. And here for my small lines. And just there, with my concealer brush. And we're just going to pounce under the eye. And I'm gonna go over my eye today. So we won't use my, my primer. Just figured I would do my face after I shopped my stash, just so you guys could see these products at work. Is the foundation on top of the base. Kind of looks washed out, but that's why we got bronzer. And all right, so the next step that I would do would I would contour. So this is my contour powder, pow, powder palette and my contour cream palette. I'm gonna pull the cream out first. This is my contouring brush. This is from Elf. It's just a little tiny little flat little guy. And I do this contour and this contour mixed. Okay. All right. That seems to work for me. So I just tap into one and into the other, back and forth just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And I'm going to go right, I'm going to, okay, that is enough contour. It doesn't have to be an overabundance. So I do that, and then I'll do under my jawline just a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean I pounce, just pounce on it, just like that. And I do the same line over here. And then I'm going to contour up here. All right, just to get a contour going around my face. Do I cream contour every day before work? Absolutely not. I should, but I do not. I don't contour every day. I definitely bronze, but I don't always contour. My contour brush, <laughs> just because I can. Um, and then I go into the same, I go into these two colors here and I go a little bit into this one and a little bit into this one. And then we're going to go right over that cream and we're going to blend it out. See what I said when you don't need a lot? And it's going to make more sense once I get the blush, the, the, um, bronzer on it. <laughs> Just like that, my sweet diamond. Okay, it's all gonna make sense once it gets put together. So, same concept with the, um, yeah, with the blood, with the, with the cream bronzer. Except for we're just gonna use our finger on this one, and we'll just tap it right above that contour. Okay. And same thing on the other side. And then I do across my forehead, foreheads, plus a teeny by my father. Because that would be the first thing that sunburned in my little world would be my forehead. <laughs> this is a this is what they call a bronzer brush. I don't like using this one for a bronzer brush, but we're going to. So I'm gonna use this one and this one. I use a bigger one to bronze with, but we'll use this one. This is from e.l.f. Okay. You're just gonna put that powder right over that cream and blend it all in together. Right or wrong, that's how I do it. Then we have a blush. 
This is the Bora Bora blush from e.l.f. Once again, so I just open our little guy up. I'm gonna use this finger. Let's get another finger and I'm gonna tap it. Right out here. Okay. Same thing on the other side. There we go. It's a pink. So I'm gonna pull out my, this is bright pink. Imagine that, this is bright pink. We're gonna put bright pink over Bora Bora. And this is what I use for my blush brush. This is my Morphe E53. Okay, and we're just gonna tap it out and drag it back and forward just a little bit. And then we're gonna go up this way. Lots of blush today. Lots of pink blush today. That's okay. We like it. Yeah. All right. Just like that. Highlighter today. I'm going to use, and it's discontinued and I apologize, so it's not going to be out there, but I'm going to use my Written in the Stars by Wet n Wild. I don't use this one nearly enough. I'm just going to use the residue on the lid. I'm going to grab a, a, bl a brush like this. I'm going to tap into it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, I didn't contour my nose, foreheads, just because I got a lot of space up there and I want to kind of, you know. It's all down, we're gonna use our Coyote Airspun Naturally Neutral. This is the one I got when I first started my makeup journey. And it's just in a shade like this. We're gonna grab that powder brush and we're gonna just set it all down. Okay, nothing crazy. And it kind of tones down everything else. It just kind of tones down the bronzer and the contour and it just blends it all in together. We'll grab my Morphe Continuous Spray and I will set it all down. Beautiful. I'll grab from my Wall of Wonders. This is my blessed one and fan me off. And there you go, my sweet darlings. Pull down the bangs, get a good fluffing on in there where it all makes sense. And that, so there you go, my sweet darlings. That is my face. When I started makeup back in, well, when I was a young, young baby, I used to do, young young baby, when I used to, young teenager, I did just foundation and setting powder, and I used to use the setting powder. And that was what I did. I didn't do blush, bronzer, I didn't do any of that. I just foundation and powder and eyeshadow, and that was it. <laughs> and then I grown into this. <laughs> At 40 some years old I decided that I was going to sit down and start doing makeup and then here I am 44, 40 blah years old and this is what it ends up being. So I won't kill you. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. That would be great. Let me know if this is something you could get into. Feel free to subscribe. It is free to you. Don't forget to share me on all your social medias. I don't mind. I really don't. And um, to come and just come join me in my videos and stuff like that. I Love you guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys in my next video. With much love, much love. See you soon. Bye.